Hello， 大家好，欢迎回到外媒看中国，我是安博然。U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo, one of the main figures behind tech and chip sanctions on China, and the woman who urged Europe to work with Washington to slow China's innovation, recently appeared on 60 Minutes to talk about her gig. She talked about some of her family's backstory and revealed. What is most definitely the exact reason she has such a hideous vendetta against China, and why she's hell bent on sending 1.4 billion people back into poverty. Today we'll talk about it. This is Reports on China. Mandy Boham in Shanghai. Let's get reporting. Gina Raimondo, Washington's Commerce Secretary, is on a cold, calculated mission to do all she can to derail China's progress over the past 40 plus years, and send 1.4 billion people back into poverty. Sound a bit over the top? Well, it's completely true. You might remember back in 2022, she literally asked Europe, who she referred to as her allies. To help send China back to the Stone Age using sanctions and manipulation, just look at what she said at the time. If we really want to slow down China's rate of innovation, we need to work with Europe. Now, it might sound harmless or innocuous to some, but that's a really vindictive and callous suggestion. China's innovation has literally helped pull 800 million people out of poverty. It's led to the creation of the world's largest and most efficient high-speed railway network. It's meant that China now produces more green technology to save the planet than any other country in the world, including the most solar panels and electric vehicles. Make no mistake, Gina's goal here is to send China back into poverty, to a state where instead of innovating and competing and pulling hundreds of millions of people into the 21st century. Should rather see China poor and dependent and subservient, working to support the dominance of the West and doing what it's told. So why is she so cold and callous when it comes to China? Why does she show such little regard for the livelihoods of 1.4 billion Chinese, or for the environment, for that matter? Well, she revealed the exact basis for her anti-China anger in a recent 60 Minutes interview. Let's take a look at that part. This is the old Bulova Watch Factory where my dad worked for almost 30 years. Her dad lost his job when Bulova abandoned the factory in 1983 and moved its operations to China. It's hard for you to imagine it now as you look around here, but this was a you know a bustling place. You know they had a thousand people working here, food trucks on the sidewalk, an electroplating shop there, a tool and die shop there, and now this is what you have. And how old were you? I was in like sixth grade, but I saw the toll it took on my dad and my family. So, as is pretty clear, Gina is still bitter about the fact that an American watch company her dad worked for for thirty years moved to China, ending his career at the factory. It's as simple as that. You know, it's usually the case that if you dig deep enough. Any anti-China person you can name has some random reason for their hate somewhere in their past. It just so happens that with our friend Gina, no one has to dig very far. But why blame China? Again, her dad worked for an American watch company in America, the king of capitalism. They moved to China for cheaper labor and for higher profits. Isn't that exactly what capitalism is all about? I definitely think that Gina needs to hire a shrink and sit down for a few hours to work through her anger issues, or you know, just speak with a real economist who can help her better understand the motives of a company offshoring, without blaming the country offering cheaper labour. I want to quickly mention a couple of other points from the 60 Minutes interview, really briefly. Firstly. I was a bit shocked by the intro. Take a look. Once the governor of Rhode Island, Raimondo at 52, seems to have come out of nowhere to become a rising star of the Democratic Party and of the Biden administration. As Commerce Secretary, she's running new projects that could touch the lives of every American, and she's helping lead the expanding Cold War with China. 
the expanding Cold War with China? Now, I don't know about you, but I think a Cold War is something that most of the world would like to avoid. Here, though, 60 Minutes host Leslie seems to think it's a good thing, and she's crediting Gina for it. Leslie, dear Leslie, this Cold War mentality is doing nothing for the world. Please take some time to reflect on that. Another thing, uh, during a recent visit to China by Commerce Secretary Raimondo, Huawei released their new phone, which featured a high-tech chip developed right here in China, a massive feat made possible despite US sanctions on China. Netizens in China thought it was pretty hilarious, so they made memes using Gina as the new phone's spokesperson. Leslie erroneously refers to the memes as an actual advertisement by Huawei. Completely wrong. Well, what more can you expect, right? And on that note, that will be it for today, you guys. But as always, I would love to hear your thoughts, so do let me know down below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.